Today we are going to be uh, talking about uh, weighted residual methods as a way of solving uh, differential equations. Uh, uh, in many cases, the differential equations that describe the physical phenomena we have are uh, unsolvable or uh, need special conditions to be solved in. However, uh, weighted residual methods expands our horizons and enables us to solve differential equations under uh, different conditions. Uh, and uh, in different uh, uh, cases uh, in an approximate way that usually produces accurate results. So uh, in our lecture today, we are going to uh, um, talk about different approximate methods, introduce them uh, very uh, quickly. Uh, then we're going to uh, focus on the weighted residual methods and how to extract the linear uh, equations or the system of equations that should be solved for uh, some unknowns, uh, resulting in an approximate solution that satisfies uh, our needs uh, uh, for that uh, problem. Uh, let's uh, just start now by talking about the approximate solutions. We have two main categories of approximate solutions of differential equations, uh, namely discrete coordinate methods and uh, distributed coordinate methods. For the discrete uh, coordinate methods, the most famous is the finite difference method, uh, which uh, uh, is uh, usually uh, taught under the uh, topic of uh, numerical differentiation. Uh, it's, it, it's a very powerful and simple method uh, some complexities are introduced to increase the uh, accuracy of the solution. Uh, however, uh, uh, it always has its limitations. Uh, also, there are uh, the, what is called stepwise integration methods. Uh, those are usually used uh, in uh, initial value problems like the Euler method and Ronge-Kutta method. However, they can still be applied in some boundary value problems where you start with a known value on uh, or known uh, conditions at uh, some boundary and then you uh, propagate your solution through uh, the uh, domain until you reach the other side of the domain or the end which uh, that's why they are usually suited for initial value uh, problems uh, in discrete coordinate methods uh, we usually handle uh, two families, uh, one which is called weighted residual methods, uh, and this is uh, the focus of our uh, talk uh, today, inshallah. Uh, in, uh, weighted residual methods uh, are either interior residual or boundary residual. Uh, the most famous of the boundary residual method is the boundary element method. It's a very, very powerful uh, numerical method. However, it has a, a, little, uh, a small drawback, which is it needs uh, some heavy mathematics, but it results in a very accurate uh, result. Uh, the interior residual methods, which we are going to be talking about today, are uh, collocation methods, uh, Galerkin methods, subdomain method, and from these we can derive uh, the finite element uh, model. The other distributed coordinate method is called the stationary functional method, which is uh, another way of uh, representing uh, the differential equations and handling the approximate solution. Uh, the famous uh, Rallerich method uh, is one of those uh, methods. We're not going to uh, discuss it in this lecture. And we can also derive the finite element model from stationary functional method. Uh, and that's probably why the finite element has become so uh, popular. Uh, it's easy to derive, whether from a weighted residual approach or from a stationary functional approach. Uh, but uh, you end up with the same model, which is uh, of uh, uh, incredibly flexible and accurate uh, um, outcome. 